first and foremost, how has the off season been treating you? Uh, it's been great so far. Um, I have uh, made progress in my rehab, which is awesome. I uh, started to throw, so I felt like a baseball player. I haven't felt like that in a, a good three months, but uh, no, it's been great. I've been kind of back and forth between uh, Tampa and New York, uh, in New York right now for Thanksgiving, but uh, it's good. When did you actually start throwing and how's your arm feeling? Yeah, I threw uh, a week ago. Um, today was that Monday. I um, uh, only out to 60 feet so far, but I, I went Monday, Wednesday, Friday last week. And uh, so far this week, I've only thrown uh, today. Um, I will progress to four days a week next week and then continue to progress from there. But I've been uh, I've been feeling great. Uh, I think the the problem that I have right now is actually how I'm feeling too good and I have to kind of pull the reins a little bit, which uh, I think is a good problem to have. So um, I got the coaches down in Tampa, our PTs up here um, really uh, helping me out. So we uh, created a good program that uh, will hopefully lead me right into spring training. Going back to when the injury originally happened, there was some thought that potentially your ligament could have been affected as well. You couldn't essentially uh, find out uh, until you could position your arm in a way that you can go in and do that MRI and, and make sure that it was okay. I mean, just what type of relief was there and that it was just a fracture, not like that's a small thing by any stretch of the imagination, but that the UCL wasn't involved. Yeah, um, definitely a nerve wracking experience for me because uh, I know that if it's just the bone, it's a six to eight month recovery and I'd be totally fine for game one of 2023. Um, if it wasn't, then I'm probably missing most of 2023, if not all of it. Um, so going into that MRI was a little nerve wracking for me. Um, I obviously held hope, um, an optimistic guy, I tried to put out all the positive vibes that I possibly could. Um, and uh, and once I found out that news and ligament looked great, fully intact, um, uh, it, it definitely eased my mind. Um, and also then just kind of made me really excited for the throwing program to start. Uh, I didn't have to go back under uh, under the knife. I, I was I was ready to go. So uh, I'm very relieved. Prior to the injury last season, you were throwing the ball incredibly well. What do you think clicked for you on the mound? Yeah, I uh, I'd say it was a combination of a lot of things. Um, I went into this season um, not focused on a role. Um, where in the past, I know I've kind of been in between. I, I'd have a couple spot starts. I um, would be a long reliever. I had a couple times where I was in high leverage. Um, and to me, that got to me. Uh, it was a learning curve for me to not uh, care about my role and just go out there and, and pitch. And because I was looking at the high leverage relievers and I wanted to be that, or I was looking at the starters that started every fifth day and I wanted to be that I felt like it took away from uh me actually being out there and pitching and so I know that as a young guy you're usually never given a role coming in um and I wanted to establish myself as fast as possible and I think that was the wrong uh mindset it, it should have just been more of a go out there and pitch to the best of my ability um and let the uh, let the coaches kind of define my role for me um and so this year coming in all I said was I'm going to give my best effort not care about roles uh in every single inning that I pitch um and i think it kind of molded myself into getting that role i felt like early on it was kind of a long reliever but in high leverage um and then unfortunately when chad green went down we had a, a, a hole in the in our back end of the of the bullpen so i um i kind of molded into his role um and absolutely loved it we've I've already talked to matt blake about what role uh, he thinks is best for me, um, what role I like the best, um, and also just kind of making sure that I'm filling in for spots to, to help the team win. Um, and we have so many like guys that can close for us. I know we've talked about it a ton. And I, yeah, I'd love to close if I'm going to be a reliever. I'd love to start if I'm going to be a starter. So um, there's a lot of question marks coming into this year um, again, and I just want to keep having that same mindset.